euro dollar. So the euro stalled out a little bit on Tuesday following that r rally up towards that previous high that we'd seen last Wednesday at 110.40. The market stalled around the 110.30 area before pulling back. But at this point, the correction is still very well intact and we could still see additional gains towards that previous support from the 26th of January at 110.98. At this point, only a break and close back below the recent low at 107.68, that was the low from the 23rd of March, would really put the pressure back on the downside and expose a retest of the 12-year low at 104.62. Sterling dollar. So cable has been having a hard time correcting in recent trade despite the broader US dollar sell-off, although the market has done a good job of rallying out from recent lows at 46.35. At this point, the downtrend remains well intact and really only back above 51.65 would delay and open the door for additional gains. Ultimately, a break back above the lower top, the most recent medium term lower top at the 155.50 area would be required to force a shift in the structure. Until then, there remains risk for fresh downside below 46.35 and towards next key psychological barriers at 140 further down. Dollar Yen. Dollar Yen has been in the process of correcting following that break to those fresh seven year highs just above that previous December high all the way up to 122.03 ahead of this latest minor pullback. The market could now see additional downside towards the 118.23 area. That goes back to the low that we saw on the 17th of February, but additional setbacks should be hard to come by with the, higher, the broader, uh, broader outlook still highly constructive and the market favored to break above 122 and to continue towards the 125 to 130 area further up. Ultimately, only a break back below 115.55 would compromise the highly constructive dollar yen outlook. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss has seen a bit of a pullback in recent trade with the market pulling back over the past several days from a high at 108.15 all the way down towards that critical recent support or the support that we saw back in early February at 104.15. While the market does however hold above 104.15, there is risk for another bounce and for the market to hold within this broader range for a resumption of gains back towards the 108.15 high and above which would open a break to the 110.112 area. At this point, the recovery outlook is still intact despite the latest pullback and only a break and close back below 104.15 would compromise that outlook. Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar took out some key resistance uh, that was in place from the 26th of February around 79.13, but the gains have since been very limited with the market having a hard time establishing any momentum above that previous 79.13 high. So while the market does have a hard time establishing above 79, the downtrend remains firmly intact in favor of a lower top back towards that recent low that we saw at 75.60. If however the recovery extends, the next key resistance comes in around 80.25. But ultimately, the price action to the upside is still classified as corrective with only a close back above 80.25 to really delay the bearish outlook. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD has been mostly chopping around between 123.50 and 128. We did see the market break to a fresh five-year high last week at 128.35 ahead of this latest pullback. And despite the pullback, the market does remain highly constructive. Ultimately, the higher low is sought out somewhere around the 123.50 area in favor of the next major upside extension above 128 and towards the 2009 peak at 130.65. At this point, only a daily close below 123.50 would compromise the immediate bear, bullish outlook. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi recently took out some key resistance that comes in that came in just above 170, uh, just above 76, around the 76.13, 76.14 area. But much like Aussie, the market has had a hard time establishing uh, above 76 with set, with get recent rally stalling out ahead of 77 on Tuesday. At this point, any view any rallies are still viewed as highly corrective or as corrective, with the market in favor to put in another lower top ahead of the next downside extension below the recent lows at 71.76. Really only back above that recent high that we saw going back to um, the 15th of January at 78.90 would delay the immediate bearish outlook. SPX 500. So the SPX 500 continues to sort of trade with a constructive tone while the market holds just below the recent record highs that we saw going back to late February at 2120. At this point, there is still risk for a break above 2120 to open fresh upside towards 2200. But in recent days, we have seen the market stall out ahead of that 2120 high and roll back over below 2100. 
However, a break below 2040 will be required to shift the structure and open an acceleration to the downside, while inability to do so will still keep the pressure on the top side. Really, it comes down to the key levels of 2120 above and 2040 below, and waiting for a break on either end for clearer directional insight. Gold. So gold has continued to extend its recovery after stalling shy of that 1131-2014 base, with the market trading up just shy of 1200 thus far. At this point, there is still risk for downside while the market holds below the, low, the, the high that we saw on the 2nd of March, around 1223. But if the market can continue to extend this rally and break above 1223, it will do a good job of confirming the establishment of a more meaningful medium-term base. But inability to break above 1223 does keep the door open for the possibility of a lower top ahead of a retest of that 2014-1131 base. That's all for now.